Good morning, Vuya, and good morning to the viewers. Now, your team submitted a new national plan yesterday. How different is it from the previous one submitted in November 2011? Well, in November we submitted uh, what we call the proposed plan. We took it out. We had very extensive consultations with all manner of, of organizations. We invited comment from uh, individuals. Uh, it's been a very successful consultative process. And out of that, we're able to strengthen uh, the storylines. And I think we've been able to focus on a couple of issues. Uh, and very importantly, the key success factors uh, are going to be important, and they include leadership, a strong, capable state, um, the focus on education, um, and uh, uh, strong citizenship. Uh, those are the kinds of issues that are going to make for the success of the plan. So it's not a, it's not a government plan, it's not a state plan, it's a plan for all South Africans. That is why uh, we've got to continue to work and ensure that everybody gets involved in this issue. Now, Minister, just tapping into the, the current climate, I mean, thinking about the bulletin that we've just had, lots of protestations. You go to the northwest at the Marikana Mine, there's protestations there, uh, Dordrecht in the Eastern Cape. What does it say about, in particular, service delivery? In the area of leadership service delivery, what does it say, the plan? You know, uh, I think you've got to separate these issues out. I, I, I don't know what's happening at Marikana Mine. Uh, it's, it's a deep, deep, deep tragedy. But you've seen, especially in the platinum mines, uh, attempts to destroy unions, uh, 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 cheap shots taken, and now 10 lives being lost. It's a deep tragedy, and I think we've got to record that as a deep tragedy. Separate from that for a moment, uh, uh, what are called service delivery protests, primarily around issues associated with um, uh, municipal services. Now, you know, one of the issues we've got to focus on is active citizenship. And yeah, we, uh, communities need voice. Uh, and the other thing that, that you have to do in the context of an effective government is to close the loops. Because one of the loops in municipal governance requires that every elected uh, ward councillor has a public... Uh, a process by which a ward committee is elected and four report back meetings a year. Now, if you close that loop, one of the things that will happen is that communities feel that they, they actually have something at stake, that they can talk, that they're being listened to, and if there are issues, that these issues can be clarified in the process. Now, notwithstanding that, there are from time to time uh, uh, some opportunist actions taken by groups of individuals. It's fairly easy where you've got high levels of unemployment, especially amongst young people, and frustration. You've got to take all of these issues, and I think that part of the message out of the plan is we've got to do things differently. It's not a money problem, we've got to do things differently. What does that entail, doing things differently? How is it going to address the unemployment among the youth uh, that, that you mentioned now? The, the, the unemployment issue is a bigger issue. The numbers are very big. We, we've taken a view out to 2030. And over the period, the target is, and it's not a promise, it's a target of 11 million jobs that must be created. Some of those will be in rural areas, in agriculture. Uh, the plan puts a number of detailed proposals on the table. Some of them will be in the services sector, some in manufacturing, uh, and uh, uh, yet others would be in expanded public works programs. But part of changing what happens in the world of work is changing what happens in education because... Too many people leave school with too few skills to be rapidly absorbed or to get into highly productive jobs. So our focus on education is actually a preeminent focus that requires the involvement of everybody. You can't just stand, away, stand back from the issues and say it's not a parental responsibility, it's not a teacher's union responsibility, it's not a community responsibility. We've got to retool those interfaces and ensure that we strengthen education failing which I think we're going to see a continuation of the terrible trend uh, in output in education that we've seen over the last few years. Minister, just to drill down a little bit into this 11 million jobs number, does this factor in the people who will be leaving school, leaving FET colleges and universities, coming onto the job market over the period up to 2030 and the current to uh, unemployed? How, how is this 11 million jobs created going to impact on current levels of unemployment? Will it bring down the unemployment from the 24% that we're sitting at in the country right now? Well, in fact, it's a, it's a set of numbers that we've used, taking account of all of the factors that you've mentioned, including population growth between now and 2030. Um, 
just bear in mind that people being born this year mm. will be leaving school in 2030 yes. or 2029. So it takes account of all of those issues. If you recall, the new growth path goes out to uh, 2020 and it looks at uh, 5 million jobs. We've extended that same line. There's no contradiction in, in terms of targets between the new growth path and the way in which the plan looks at these issues. So that's where the number comes from. We've set the, the end mark at a 6% unemployment level. It focuses the mind because the numbers are so huge, you almost have to double um, the numbers of people who are in employ at the moment. Uh, also, there's a different uh, objective, which is about dealing with inequality, which means you've got to raise living standards across the board and get the, 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 the distribution of income uh, different uh, in South Africa. Uh, that's the other side of it. It's not just jobs at any cost, but I think we must deal with the inequality challenge at the same time. Uh, so it's a, it's a big, big issue, and I think it, it speaks to South Africans, and it asks the question, how do we do this? Because if we don't, I think the risks of uh, millions of unemployed young people with nothing to do and no hope, mm. no skin in the game, as they say, uh, is going to threaten our democracy very, very seriously. Just a one last point about education. Minister Nzimande was here the other day and talking about uh, industry and commerce absorbing young people and offering training because it's not just the theory that you learn at the FET college or, or at university, but it's also about the willingness of business to uh, bring in young people and offer them skills and training. How do they feature in the plan and, and in this effort to grow uh, the, the 11 million job, uh, to reach the 11 million job target? Young people are a very central part. In fact, a lot of our consultation uh, in, in finalizing the plan was with young people, and the feedback is, is manifested in, in the approach that we take. What Minister Nzimande said is, of course, correct. We also look at the FET colleges themselves because we are concerned about uh, the poor throughputs. Uh, very few people actually uh, complete their courses at FET colleges. Uh, and so we also need to make a big investment in a quality upgrade of our FET colleges to ensure that people leave there with better skills and as they leave that they're absorbed. So the discussion with business organizations, all of them, uh, is a fundamentally important challenge. But also then the stimulation of small and medium enterprises is going to be another part of something that needs to be ramped up. We haven't given nearly enough attention to it over the past uh, 18 or so years. We must do a lot more to stimulate uh, SMME development in South Africa. All right. Minister, so much to talk about. Thank you very much for your time. Trevor Manuel is Minister Responsible for Planning in the Presidency, joining us this morning talking about uh, the document presented to President Jacob Zuma.